first time of trying to go whatever they call it, mic free or whatever, so we'll see how it goes. But I think I might like it because I'll probably walk around a little bit more. But um, I'm Jane. For those who are new who don't know me, I am Andy's wife. We have been um, together or dating, married or whatever for 40 years somehow. Out of that 40, we've been married for 36 in June. Um, two beautiful children. I talked about them last night. They're still pretty this morning. They look good. Um, dogs, no cats. We have four dogs still. Andy has a new dog named Pepper who takes on Andy's personality immediately. And the, the craziest thing about Pepper, if you know anything about Australian Shepherds, they are all about some wiggle butt. Like their, their nickname are wiggle butts. So now when Andy comes in the door, Pepper just darts to him and Pepper's just like, and like he just puts it up there for Andy to like scratch it. So then I figured out it works pretty good too if I greet Andy like this. <laughs> so ladies, if, if you need some new things, you can just act like an Australian shepherd and greet your man with a wiggle butt. But um, we currently live in Florida. We've been there, I think, three years. Um, we love it. Our backyard is beautiful. It's the Gulf Coast, and there's no sight prettier than that. Um, somebody says, is it home yet? Not quite. Um, I say home will be, always will be where the kids were raised. It's too early to start crying, right, Olga? I gotta focus. I must focus. Focus. I must focus. But anyway, uh, dogs. Andy's got goats. I said that's another whole story. When um, Haley and Spencer were little and we moved back into the home that his dad built, which is our home in North Carolina, he thought it would be a good idea to have some goats. But at that time, we didn't have money to have a proper fence for goats. So every time Andy would travel out of town, the goats knew it. I don't know how, but they decided it would be time to go up to the church and eat the flowers. So we replanted more flowers at the church than any member of the church ever has planted up there due to Andy's goats. But now he's got a nice fence at the cabin and the goats have been intact as far as I know. And he's got some llamas, um, chickens, which looks like we're all gonna need chickens with the price of eggs these days. <laughs> but anyway, I'm glad you're here. If it's your first conference, I just hope that you can just walk away with something. If, if it's just a new friend or a new idea, um, get yourself started or whatever. But I think I wanna talk to you today a little bit about your shoe game. Um, obviously, we all like a good pair of shoes and we like comfortable shoes, but I think some of us need to look at our shoes and we need to change them. So I wanna to talk to you about your shoe game. And when I say these things, I want you to know that I am talking to myself just as much as I'm talking to you. So, my suitcase might have some shoes in it, and it even has a tag that says, careful, my shoes are inside, and they really are this time. So, let's see what's in here. Uh, found one, found two. Oh, look how adorable, how cute these little baby shoes are. Red, because Andy likes red. And I'm guessing these are for girls since they have polka dots on the bottom. But some of you are still in your baby shoes. You refuse to grow up. You whine and cry like a baby. You're like, wah, wah, wah. something goes wrong in the business you don't like. Changes come that you're like, what the heck? You got your baby shoes on. You're still crying like a baby. You're wet, you're stinky, you're smelly, you got throw up on you, and you still refuse to put on your baby shoes. You wanna become successful, and you wanna be a part of this team, but yet you'll refuse to go to meetings, you'll refuse to plug into audio, you'll refuse to, um, meetings, audio, books, tapes, functions, all of that. You want to grow, but you don't want to go. You want to stay right where you are. Some of us still have on our baby shoes, and I would think about it like, of course you can't still fit into them, 
But if you're in the same place right now, this year, that you were last year, do you think something might need to change? It might need to be your shoes. So come on guys, let's get out of the baby shoes. Let's quit crying and whining. They changed that again and we don't have that lead anymore. And now we don't do that. And I don't know why you keep making all those changes. Shut up, grow up and get out of your baby shoes. Let's see. These boots were made for walking. So let's see. Hmm. 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 So, my next pair of shoes, and I will not walk too much in these, are going to be these nice five inch stilettos. They're gonna look real nice with these tights. Okay. They look good with tights, don't they? I won't be walking too much. Some of you, some of you, some of you are in your stilettos. You're walking high and proud. You got your nose up in the air. You know it all. You don't wanna follow the system. You know, you got your own system. It's working, and, and it's not working, but yet you're not going to change because change causes things to happen, and your ego is in the way. Y'all do know what ego means, edging God out. Some of us can't let go of our pride. Men don't want to ask another man for help. Women, we don't want to go and and confide in our friend that our husband's lazy, he's on the couch eating bonbons and Doritos and watching football night after night. What you're doing is you're just, you're stumping around because you don't know what to do. We have a proven system. There's proof in the pudding that it works. Take these shoes, take them off, trade them in, and let's build this business. This is where most of you are. This is where most of you are. Oh, this is so comfortable. You're at home in your bunny slippers. You're lounged back on the couch, watching TV, mmm, eating chocolate decadent brownie. Mm. 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 There's no place like the comfort zone, is it? No place. You don't want to change. You don't want to do anything different. You don't want to grow. You don't want to leave your house. You don't want to get out of your backyard. They were coming up for tour names and I don't know how it came up and, and the Not Your Backyard Tour, I said, perfect. Because everybody thinks that money grows on the tree in their backyard. They don't know that they got to go to grow. The most, the most greediest thing that you could ever do is if you have experienced success in this business, is not to go and share it with someone else to become successful too. Some of you are in your comfort zone, your passive aggressive behavior, you post stuff on social media that you think people are reading, and it's like you're actually talking to someone else, you're liking stuff on social media that is contrast with what we believe in, Get out of your comfort zone. Nothing happens there. These are pretty comfortable. Y'all want to know. But I think, or in fact, I know that the majority of you, everybody in this room has what it takes to be successful in this business. Everybody. But let me tell you what you all need to do. 
you need to get out of your comfortable shoes. You need to just put them to the side. And you need to get your dang combat boots on. I won't take the time to lace them. You need to get your work boots on. You need to get your fighting boots on. You need to get a pair of these on. And when I say you need to get a pair, men, I'm talking about shoes. I'm not talking about something else. Get your combat boots on. Get out there. Kick some butt. Take some names. Put some money in the bank. Help somebody else. This is a people helping people business. Why not you? Why not now? There is a war out there going on, and the war is on poverty. And we've got a team of warriors and warriorettes in here that could take that battle to war. But let me tell you what's not going to happen. It's not going to happen with these. Won't work. Not going to happen with you stumbling around, not knowing what the heck to do. Follow the system. It's not going to happen with these. Get out of your comfort zone. Let's get the job done. Why don't you be like Cinderella and let one shoe just one shoe change your life. Get your work boots on. Let's go kick some ass. Let's go.